Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your phone calls. We can help you change your life today. We can help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members today. Our number is 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or if you have questions about skin care, skin health, ingredients, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com, or check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to Robert Lundgren, who set that up. You can also go to criticalhealthnews.com. That's my new blog with George Norrie. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team on brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com as well. You can call uh, the phone team, too, 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, including our retinol gel, 5% retinol gel with vitamin C, go to truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay, speaking of retinol, we've been talking about vitamin A and retinol and skin health. Retinol is an exfoliating agent. It's one of the all-time best ways to address dark spots, hyperpigmentation. We talked yesterday, yesterday about various scrub techniques, exfoliation techniques. We gave you a recipe yesterday. If you missed the program, head over to brightsideben.com and you can review the program. We gave a, a couple of recipes and tips, formulas, formulations for making your own exfoliating agent. The pigment that shows up, the dark spots that show up on the skin can be a little bit confusing. Pigment, dark spots, melanin is the technical name for, for the pigment, which is really kind of fascinating stuff. Melanin is actually electromagnetic. It absorbs electrical energy, and it's actually being used as a biological or a biopolymer, a biological substance for computers and high-tech devices for conducting electricity. At least it's being researched in this fashion. The pigment, the melanin, is wrapped up. It's enmeshed in dead skin cells, and it can accumulate on the surface of the skin. This is why exfoliating can be so helpful. Exfoliating or removing the dead cells off the surface of the skin will also remove the pigment, and you'll get lighter, more even skin via exfoliation techniques and also smoother, softer texture to the skin. Dark spots will, however, return for the most part, just because you exfoliate them away doesn't mean that they're not going to come back. In fact, that's really what generally tends to happen because we haven't addressed the causes which involve biochemistry. As with all things, it helps to understand what's happening if we're really going to make a correction, if we're really going to make a difference in our health or in our skin, we've got to understand what exactly is going on. So what exactly is hyperpigment? Pigmentation, melasma, technically it's called. Hyperpigment means too much pigment. Technically they call it melasma. So what exactly is melasma or hyperpigmentation? Well, first of all, let's talk about what it's not. There's actually two different distinct types of skin darkening. 
And the first is not really skin related. It's not really a skin issue, at least not exclusively. Yes, it shows up on the skin, but it's really a, a biochemistry issue. It's happening inside the body. It's not really a skin care issue or a skin health issue. And because this first type of pigment isn't really a skin issue, skin care products are not going to be helpful for this type of darkening. People will call this type of darkening liver spots. I'll tell you why they call it liver spots here in a little bit. They're more scientifically referred to as lipofusion, which we've talked about. Well, we've talked about a lot on this program because it's a very important part of the aging process. Lipofusion, that's spelled L-I-P-O-F-U-S-C-I-N. And unless you're a regular listener to the bright side, chances are you haven't heard of lipofusion. This distinction between lipofusion and ordinary dark spots, which are related to skin pigment or melanin, is very, very important. And not understanding the distinction between lipofusion and melanin is behind a lot of frustration, a lot of wasted money, a lot of wasted time when it comes to addressing this thing. It's because unlike ordinary pigment, which is a defensive response to sunshine, solar radiation, ultraviolet radiation from the sun, Lipofusion is not a defensive protective element. It's not a defensive response. It's a waste product. And on top of that, lipofusion is much more complex and much more sticky than melanin. Lipofusion is not merely a pigment. It's a complex. It's a complex of pigment and fatty cell waste materials. In fact, the word lipofusion literally means dark fat. And this makes it very difficult to remove because it occurs in the deeper levels of the skin. And as it turns out, lipofusion also accumulates in the heart. It accumulates in the brain, in the nervous system, in the kidneys, in the liver. Pretty much all of the soft tissues inside the body, the organs inside the body, can accumulate lipofusion, aging pigment. If you're starting to notice the buildup of these kinds of spots, which will typically appear in the arms or the legs as we get older, sometimes people get on their face. Please don't waste your time or your money trying to scrub them away or get rid of them topically. It's not going to work. Lipofusion deposits, even though they show up on the surface of the skin, are really located, the deposits are really located way deep underneath. And they may appear on the skin, but really they're building up underneath and you can't get to them by approaching them, by trying to approach them through topical means. It's an internal condition. Lipofusion involves cells dying off. Usually under ordinary healthy, uh, healthy circumstances, when cells die off, there's a cleanup crew that will actually take all that cell debris and cell waste materials and kind of recycle them, drain them, detoxify them. Lipofusion deposits will accumulate when the body's cleanup crew is overwhelmed, when the sewage system that's supposed to drain away the dead cell material is overwhelmed as well. The circulatory system, the lymph system, plays a very important part in the, how these cell pigments and cell debris and cell waste materials are, are uh, how they show up, how they deposit. When the circulatory system and the lymph system specifically starts to clog up, these lipofusion cell debris deposits will accumulate. Think of them as cell dirt. Under ordinary circumstances, all the cell dirt is, is drained away and it's also recycled. As we get older, the recycling and draining away systems start to become overwhelmed and lipofusion deposits build up. So what can you do? Well, there's a lot you can do. If you're starting to notice these dark spots, and they'll typically look like light brown spots, and they'll have the, a sort of geographical shape, they'll look like a map or something, and they'll locate, uh, you, you won't be able to approach them from the surface, they'll be located deeper in the skin. If you're starting to notice that this is happening, usually happens right around you know, late 40s, early 50s, into the 60s, and on through uh, the decades as we get older, if you're starting to notice this, there's a lot you can do. First of all, recognize it's a sign that you're aging rapidly, that the aging process is kicking in and the recycling and detoxification processes are becoming overwhelmed. So first thing you want to do is work on food. Always, always, always work on food. Food and diet and supplemental strategies that, uh, that you can use to improve the digestive system and digestive health. So lipofusion, the accumulation of lipofusion is a classic sign that the aging process is kicking in in full gear for the most part, for the, most of us. It's only going to affect us as we get older and it's basically a sign that the body and the cells are breaking down in the housekeeping, recycling machinery of the cells is becoming overwhelmed. It's a cleanup issue. It's not a cosmetic issue. And that means first and foremost, we want to stop the steady stream of toxicity that's getting into the body through the digestive system. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back. 
Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. You can also head over to brightsideben.com if you miss a program and want to review anything we've talked about. All the shows are archived at brightsideben.com for, for oh, going on five years of programs at brightsideben.com. You can also check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com, and you can purchase longevity products right off the website as well, criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also purchase truth treatment products, including our retinol balm, 5% retinol, retinol gel off of uh, truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. We're talking skin health, and actually we're talking about lipofusion, which sometimes gets mixed up as a skin, uh, skin health issue, but it's not really a skin health issue as much as it's an internal issue. The body is breaking down. If you're starting to notice that you're pigmenting, you've got these liver spots that are on the surface of the skin and everything you do to scrub and use skin lighteners like hydroquinone or retinol, none of that stuff helps. Chances are pretty good you're dealing with this lipofusion material. Fortunately, there is lots of stuff you can do to address lipofusion. For one thing, you wanna make sure that you're dealing with digestive health. Toxicity of the digestive system will end up clogging the circulation and the lymph, and that will really mess up. Uh, that will really uh, uh, keep the body from clearing the stuff out. It will also prevent recycling of the cell debris and lipofusion, and chances are it's going to end up depositing. And it can deposit anywhere in the body, not just in the skin. It can deposit in the heart. It can deposit in the brain. It can be associated with Alzheimer's disease and dementia. By the way, there's a new test I was just reading about here uh, on CNN, on uh, CNN.com. New saliva tests may catch Alzheimer's disease early. You don't need a saliva test to catch Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's dementia is not anything special. It's a type of dementia like any other dementia. It's a sign that the brain is starting to break down. This is what happens as we get older. You don't need that saliva test. If you're starting to become forgetful, starting to lose your memory, if you're not remembering names, chances are your brain is starting to... Your brain is starting to break down. Brain cells are starting to break down. By the way, lipo, uh, Alzheimer's disease is now called type 3 diabetes, and more and more are recognizing that this blood sugar issue is really affecting the entire body, including the brain. Anyway, lipofusion, uh, lipofusion accumulates in the brain, it accumulates in the heart, it accumulates pretty much throughout the body, and clearing it out is important. Working on the digestive system is the first thing to think about, and it's always, always always the first thing to think about. As we age and cells break down, it becomes more and more difficult to clear them out anyway, but if you have digestive health problems, it makes it even worse. So working on the digestive system is always the first thing to do. Caloric intake, restricting caloric intake, keeping your calories down is always helpful. You know, it, these simple little things that we can do to address our health. When was the last time anyone went to the doctor and got a prescription for caloric restriction? You're not going to get a prescription for caloric restriction because it doesn't involve your doctor. Caloric restriction means eating less calories. You don't even have to fast. You don't even have to suffer. Just by keeping your calories down. Calories represent heat. The body doesn't like a lot of heat. Calor actually means heat. A calorie is a unit of heat. Keeping your calories down keeps heat down. The body runs better. So just like a computer, the body runs better when it's cool, just like your computer runs better when it's cool. So keeping your calories down is the first thing to think about if, you're, if you've got lipofusion issues, along with digestive health strategies. If you have gluten intolerance, there's a relationship between gluten, gluten, uh, uh, gluten intolerance and lipofusion accumulation. There's a relationship between leaky gut syndrome, breakdown in the digestive lining, and lipofusion accumulation. There's a relationship between elevated blood sugar and lipofusion accumulation. And not surprisingly, there's a relationship between hypothyroidism and lipofusion accumulation. Sounds like the triangle of disease once again. For all health challenges, all of them, Focus on the triangle of disease, correct digestive issues, stabilize the blood sugar, and work on relaxing the body. Lots of ways to do it. Lots and lots of ways to do it. First of all, as aforementioned, digestive health, caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, doing a food diary, eliminating gluten, using probiotics and good bacteria. The Biolumin Nightly Essence can be a very, very important strategy for helping deal with lipofusion issues and accelerated aging, clearing out the lymph. Three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Eat fermented foods, eat fermented vegetables, make sure you're getting fiber. It's all in the interest of eliminating liver spots. You notice I'm not saying anything about the skin here because it's not really a skin issue. 
liver spots are an internal issue, and whenever you have an internal issue, you got to focus on digestive health. So caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, probiotics, fermented foods, the bioluminightly essence, Fucoid Z and Z radical, and anything that's slimy and gooey can help coat the digestive system, soothe the digestive tract, stimulate healing. Likewise with the glucogel caps. These are all wonderful strategies for helping protect yourself against aging pigment and improving the recycling and clearing out of cell debris. Using the glucogel caps, using bone soup, using high aluronic acid supplements. We'll talk about high aluronic acid in the skin here probably in the coming days, but you can use high aluronic acid supplements, 100 milligrams a day. Glucosamine or uh, the glucogel caps can help you make high aluronic acid, so those can be helpful. And then, of course, limiting sugar intake, limiting refined flour intake, using the sweeties, and just general relaxation techniques, deep breathing, massage, yoga, meditation, and just generally lightening up, taking it easy, relaxation. These are all strategies for reducing lipofusion accumulation, improving liver spots. You're not going to be able to do it topically. If you see those liver spots showing up on your face or your hands or your legs, there's nothing you can do topically because even though you see it on the, you see it on the skin, it's actually deep down in the lower levels of the skin. Then there are really cool nutrients, specific nutrients that you can take to help reduce the accumulation of these liver spots. One of my favorite, in fact, this might be my all-time favorite nutrient. Certainly it's my all-time favorite mineral, and that's zinc. Zinc deficiencies are very common. Along with magnesium deficiencies, you've got probably the two most important mineral deficiencies, magnesium and zinc. And zinc deficiencies are linked to almost every single health issue you can name. Zinc deficiencies are linked to digestive health problems, and zinc helps build the digestive tract lining. 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Zinc picolinate. That's my favorite, uh, favorite form of zinc. Just yesterday, an uh, article came out from uh, Journal of Biological Chemistry. Zinc plays an important role in regulating the heartbeat. This is a Journal of Biological Chemistry, new research led by uh, the University of St. Andrews in England. According to Dr. Samantha Pitt, zinc, uh, what does she say here? Uh, zinc in the heart suggests, uh, a zinc accumulate, or zinc in the heart suggests that tight regulation of this metal is crucial in maintaining normal cardiac function. And that's research that was published in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. Zinc is mega, mega important for almost every single system in the body, for the blood sugar system, for the thyroid, for the digestive system, and also for the accumulation of lipofusion. In a paper published in the journal uh, Public Library of Science, researchers showed that age-related pigment deposition, that's lipofusion, in the eyes, as well as, get this now, macular degeneration. I can't even tell you how many letters I get about macular degeneration. People want to know what they can do, and it's a big problem. The macula is a part of the eye, and it degenerates just like bones degenerate, and just like muscle tissue de degenerates, just like any part of the body degenerates. When the macula degenerates, you're dealing with a just simple degenerative issue. It's not special to the macula. It's breakdown, generalized breakdown, and guess what? Zinc deficiency can help protect you against macular degeneration. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, they're all... They're all up at brightsideben.com. You can also check out my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products, uh, longevity products, right off the websites as well. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, uh, right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Got full board of, uh, full, uh, empty board. Uh, full board of empty lines, so you can call in and uh, you'll get right through at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Got tons of letters. I've been doing coast-to-coast uh, -coast programs, myself and Dr. Wallach, some of you guys know, and we get all kinds of letters. Uh, probably, you know, I, I, I had been getting probably on some, somewhere along the lines of 100 letters every uh, 100 letters a month. I think I've doubled or tripled now. So I want to get to some of these. I've been meaning to do this for a while, I guess. Now you guys aren't calling, now's a good time to get to some letters. 
This is from uh, Dr. Steve Schwartz, who's actually a medical doctor. He writes, he came down with something called PCV, polycythemia vera. It's discovered on an MRI. He says he's having phlebotomies and lowering his hemoglobin. Just so you know, polyce polycythemia vera just means you're making too many blood cells. And this doctor wants to know how he can get his blood cells back to blood cell production back to a quote more normal activity. Activity, he asks, is there a deficiency causation? Doctor says that's helpful for controlling the PCV. Blah blah blah. So here's the thing: you got your body, your bone marrow specifically, is making too many red blood cells. All right. Now that's not a good thing. Things get clogged up. You don't want to be making too many red blood cells. So the medical approach is to yank out the blood cells. They do phlebotomy. They take out the blood cells. Well. You know, from a superficial way of looking at it, okay, you make too many blood cells, we'll take them out. But the problem isn't that there's too many blood cells. It's the reason. The problem is the reason why the body makes too many blood cells. We don't want to, it's not the blood cells that are a problem. It's the cause of the blood cell production that's the problem. Why would the body make too many blood cells? Well, what do blood cells do? They carry oxygen. So if the body's making too many blood cells, the bone marrow is producing too many blood cells, the chances are pretty good you got a problem with oxygen. The doctor continues, he says the phlebotomies, the removing the blood cells, leaves them iron deficient. Well, no kidding, because there's iron in the blood cells. So of course you're going to be iron deficient. Taking the blood cells out may superficially solve the problem, but it's not going to permanently solve the problem because you still have the low oxygen, so your bone marrow is going to make more blood cells. What's the issue? Low oxygen. So I'm saying here, folks, it's all the same things. You hear, we repeat the same kind of things over and over again. If you're dealing with hypothyroidism, chances are pretty good. You're hypoxic, low blood oxygen. If you're dealing with uh, autoimmune disease, chances are pretty good. You've got low blood oxygen. If you're dealing with coagulation and clotting, chances are pretty good. You've got low blood oxygen. If you're dealing with hypertension, chances are pretty good. Low blood oxygen, poly polycythemia vera that this doctor is complaining about, again, low blood oxygen. Technically, low blood oxygen is called hypoxia, and hypoxia and inflammation go hand in hand. Hypoxia, low blood oxygen, and disease go hand in hand. Hypoxia and Alzheimer's disease and dementia and Parkinson's disease go hand in hand. Why is this important? Well, who controls our blood oxygen? Is there a surgical procedure that you can do to have uh, improve your blood oxygen? No. Is there a prescription drug you can take to improve your low blood oxygen? No. Is there a medical doctor or doctor strategy you can use to improve your blood oxygen? No. But it doesn't matter because we can do it ourselves. How? Well, deep breathing. Sit on the couch and practice deep breathing. This is so important because the whole message here of the bright side is that doctors are irrelevant to healing. Now, I'm not talking about, and I know I say this all the time, but it bears repeating, I'm not talking about accidents. I'm not talking about traumas. Praise God for the medical model when it comes to stitching things up and patching things up in the case of acute trauma or infection. Yes, we need, a medical, we need a medical professionals for that, and there are heroic medical professionals that save lives. Praise God for them. But what I'm talking about is long-term, chronic, degenerative health issues. These are not doctor issues. These are not medical issues. Yes, the medical model insinuates itself between us and the healing process because it profits on it. It makes money on it. People send their kids to colleges and buy fancy houses and cars on it. But they don't help anybody. Nobody's getting better even though we have more doctors per capita than any other culture in the history of planet Earth. Anybody notice this? Got more doctors and more obesity, more doctors and more autoimmunity, more doctors and more cancer, more doctors and more degenerative disease, more doctors and more health misery than ever before because doctoring doesn't help chronic degenerative disease. For our friend Dr. Schwartz, who's got polyc polycythemia vera, consider it an inflammatory condition, a hypoxic condition, Go back to the triangle of disease. Work on your digestive system. Make sure you're stabilizing your blood sugar. And then relax the body and get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. By the way, a deficiency in the basic Mighty 90 essential nutrients, a, base, a deficiency in the basic uh, nutritional vitamins and minerals and pro uh, macronutrients, proteins, and, and essential fats is also a burden on the body. It's also a stress on the body. So making sure you're on a nutritional supplement program is also very important for Dr. Schwartz and his poly polycythemia vera. Uh, I got another really interesting letter here. This one is on a, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. I'll get to a phone call here real quick and then we'll talk about this letter. 
Uh, Ann in California, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Are, do you mean Pam or Ann? Uh, I got Ann here. Is that you? It's Pam, yes. I'm uh-huh. sorry, Pam. I'm sorry. Okay. How you doing, Pam? Good morning. I'm okay. I, I just want to, first of all, I wanted to thank you for your Omega-6 healing cream, and I've nice. been using your um, retinol gel uh, oh, nice. about, about a month. What are you noticing? And, I, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a... I'm going to give you a, a promotion here. I'm okay. 69 years old, and I have men 20 years younger than me doing second glances now. Are you serious since you started using the retinol? Yes. <laughs> now, are you, God bless you. I'll tell you what, Ann. If you send me a note to a Ben at K, or actually send it, yeah, send it to Ben at KSCO.com, I'll send you out a freebie. How's that? Oh, Because I'm, be I'm collecting testimonials. Are you using the Omega-6 with the retinol? I am, yes. Okay, good deal. Did I send you a sample, or you, you, did you buy it? You sent me a sample. Okay, I'm going to send you a freebie on the Omega-6. If you send me a, a letter, that's $129 value. I'll wow. send you a, a free jar of it. Uh, and then um, uh, just send me a note, and uh, that's awesome that you're getting. Are you noticing, uh, the, did you have dark spots? Are you noticing dark spots fading or anything like that? I, I had only two, um, and they're lighter. They, they're quite stubborn they and they are on each side of my face because when i would walk my dog i would wear a baseball cap but they're right on the sides of the face you know where it wasn't protected by the um and i didn't wear sunscreen (laughs) okay all right so you got the so it's it's fading the dark spots and are you noticing the skin is softer and smoother yes it is and i'm getting that um what you call the more beefy plump uh, okay, good. That's beautiful. It's only been a month, right? Yes. Is that what you, yes. So you've only used it how many times? Three or four times? Yeah, and you know, um, I use the retinol maybe at the most um, once or twice a week because it takes about three days to stop peeling. The flaking comes off, the skin comes off, the dead skin. Yes. Uh, we got to take a break, Ann, but send me a note to Ben at com and put your address there and I'll send you a freebie. And then also hang tight and we'll get to your question when we come back. Is it okay? Pam? Pam, Ann, there? P, Hopefully P, you're there. Uh, P, Pam. P, Pam. Hang tight. we got to take a break. We'll be back after this. Don't go away, Pam. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this break. Okay, now we got a full board. How do you like that? I'll try to get to everybody real quickly. Uh, if you're interested in checking out my Facebook page, Truth with the Truth with Ben, we update it with the skincare posts, skin health blog posts, pretty pretty regularly. Try to do it regularly. Did one on make your own sunscreen a couple of a uh, couple weeks back. That's uh, the Truth with Ben. And if you've tried to friend me on my regular Facebook page, that that one's all filled up, so you can't get there. But you can go to the Truth with Ben, and we uh, post regularly skin health. Uh, skin health ideas and skin health blog posts. Pam in California, listen, got a full board here. I want to get to, I want to, uh, I want to get to as many calls as possible here. But if you send me an email, Pam, uh, and you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a fancy letter. Just, just the highlights, how you're using the product and the benefits you're getting. Put your address there. I'll send you a freebie uh, of my my omega six healing cream. And thanks for the kind words. What, what is your question? Well, I, I would like you to address, and if you're really busy, I understand. But um, I just, I, I have this month's edition of Life extension magazine okay. and they have some very good articles i avoid some of them but some of them and the, and they have a, a, a very in-depth article on advanced glycation end products age yes I, I blogged about it here a couple weeks ago if you yes. go to pharmacistben.com i wrote a, a oh. post on that but uh, yeah it's a, everything you know and the highest the worst in in their um survey was bacon because bacon has so yeah. much fat in it, and when you cook bacon, it had over eleven thousand something, and people are just eating a lot of bacon these days. It's not a good idea. Bacon is definitely not a health food. It's an awful food, actually. Uh, it's one of the worst foods you could ever eat. It's right up there with potato chips and and uh, other fried cookie nutritionless foods. But here's the thing with advanced glyc uh, and by the way, the the, uh, the acronym for advanced glycation end products is age, and that's appropriate because it is how we age. Our body candies to death. It caramelizes to death. And the more of these aged products you eat, the more you're going to age. And by the way, retinol is anti-glycation. Just so you know, your retinol gel will protect your skin a little bit from the glycation uh, that typically occurs as we get older. Uh, there, use the sweeties. Restrict your intake of sugar. The B vitamins are tremendously anti-glycating. High aluronic acid in the glucogel caps has some anti-glycation properties. The fucoid Z is anti-glycating. Uh, magnesium is anti-glycating. Zinc is anti-glycating. Pretty much all the strategies that we talk about on this program for reducing blood sugar 
or anti-glycation because the biggest problem with elevated blood sugar, and when we say elevated blood sugar, what we really mean is elevated blood sugar concentration. That means too much sugar in the blood. And once the sugar starts to build up in the blood, that's where you get the glycation, the caramelizing. Diabetics all know that they have to have their glycated, uh, their uh, hemoglobin tested for glycation periodically. It's called an advanced hemoglobin test or H, uh, uh, he uh, hemoglobin A1C test, which is a, a glycation test. Uh, Pam, did that answer your question, or, or did you have a specific you, question? You did, and I just wanted to say that life extension is also big on uh, L-carnosine. Their carnosine is also anti-glycan, not carnitine, but right. carnosine. And I love Life Extension magazine, and I read Dirk, Dirk and Sandy Pearson's book on Life Extension many years ago. But the problem these days with Life Extension is you got to weed, you know, like you said, not all the articles are legit in the sense that there's usually some kind of product they're selling at the end of the article, and you got to be a little bit careful of that. But some of the science is good, and they're certainly right on about uh, advanced glycation end products. And thank you so much for, for the kind words about the retinol, Pam. And don't forget thank to send me you. an email. <laughs> Take care. Have a beautiful day. God, God bless you, man. Okay, let's go to a Bill in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Bright Side. Bill, what's up? Hey, good morning. Uh, good morning. I'm, yes. I've got a question on... Uh, the blood type diet. What, what oh, do you think man, I'm not a, I'm, I don't buy into that blood type diet. Let me ask you something, Bill. Do lions eat right for their type in the wild? You know, do no. rabbits eat? No. What, does any other animal eat right for their type? Why is human beings the, why are human beings the only animal that eats right for their type? You know, there may be a, yeah, it's silly when you think about it. Now, here's the thing, though. There is a little bit of legitimacy, and this is the problem sometimes with pseudoscience, is you get a little bit of legitimacy and then a lot of baloney. So, yeah, there's a little bit of legitimacy to how the basic idea for the listeners who aren't familiar with the Eat Right for Your Type is that where we grew up in terms of our, where our genetics evolved is going to have an impact, theoretically, on the kind of foods we're supposed to eat. The problem is, is just if you're a human being, you need your B vitamins, no matter where you grew up or what your evolutionary ancestry is. You still need the B vitamins. You still need vitamin C. You still need protein. Every human being that's alive needs the mighty 90 essential nutrients. There's no blood type that doesn't need the mighty 90 essential nutrients. So while there may be some specifics and some specific variations, for the most part, if you just if you want to be healthy, you don't need to pay any attention to the eat right for your type stuff. All you got to do is get on the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Make sure you're avoiding the crappy food and eating less food. Make sure you're stabilizing your blood sugar, and make sure you're using deep breathing techniques and relaxation strategies, etc. And of course, accessing spiritual and mental and emotional aspects of health. Everybody needs to do this. And so, what we're trying to do here on the bright side is simplify everything. You get people writing books like this that just complicate things. Now you got to worry about what your blood type is and where your evolutionary ancestry is from and whether you can eat this kind of food and that kind of food. It just messes things up and it's really not fair. We're sitting here trying to simplify health and make it easier for people to access health and then you got these books that, that confuse and muddy the waters. Not fair. Peter Adamo, not right. And I, he's the author of the book. Now, again, there is maybe some slight legitimacy to the idea that if you, your ancestry is from Northern Europe, you're going to eat some foods a little bit differently than if your ancestry is from the South Pacific. But for the most part, everybody who's a human being and every animal needs certain nutrients and certain foods and should be staying away from certain nutrients and certain foods. So don't muddy the waters. You don't have to worry about eating, in my opinion, eat right for your type. Get on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Eat less food. Eat less processed food. Practice intermittent fasting. Make sure you're stabilizing the blood sugar and eating less sugar. And then make sure you're using your relaxation strategies and techniques. Does that help, Bill? Did I answer that question? Yes, yes, it does. Okay. Uh, one other quick question. Sure. Um, controlling your body pH with baking soda, and, and can you get too alkaline? No, uh, you, no, your body, well, if, you, if you're poisoned, you can, but from your body isn't going to let you get too, too alkaline unless you do something intense. The best way to alkaline is by breathing. For the life of me, I can't figure out why we would go to alkaline water and baking soda and formulas for alkalinization when oxygen is how we're meant to alkalinize. Not only that, but carbon dioxide, which you blow out in the exhalation, is acidic. So through appropriate and healthy and vigorous respiratory techniques, inhaling oxygen, that, that'll raise your pH, that'll get you alkaline, and then exhaling carbon dioxide will make you drop acid, and that will also make you alkaline. That's how God intended us to alkalinize our blood. Baking soda may help a little bit, but by the time the baking soda gets through the digestive tract, there isn't going to be any, it's not going to be alkaline any longer because you have acid in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? 
So you may get a little bit of alkalinity by doing baking soda, but the main way to alkalinize is to practice deep breathing. Also, acidity is a marker of toxicity. In fact, when cells produce wastes, toxic wastes, those toxic wastes are acid. So acidity is also an, uh, an element of toxicity. Acidity equals toxicity, and again, keeping the body clean by eating less food, by patching up the gut, stabilizing the blood sugar, etc. That's the best way to raise your blood pH in addition to oxygenation and, and blowing off carbon dioxide. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right. Ann in Colorado. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. I've got about a minute and a half. What's going on? Ann? Going once? Do we have Ann? Ann, Ann? Hello. Hi, Ann. Hello. Ann? Hello, hello. What's up, Ann? How you doing? Uh, fine. Uh, I am in my mid-60s and uh, have suffered with macular degeneration going on 20 years. Oh, it's my goodness. It's gotten worse in the last five years. I've been told there's nothing that can be done. Well, uh, whoever told you that should be ashamed I of themselves. That's that's an awful. Hang on, Ann. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ann. I'm going to give. And Ann. I'm hearing new information that it can. Hey, Trevor, can you pot hurt. can you pot Ann down here? Ann, listen. I'm going to tell you how you deal with macular degeneration, and that's terrible. Terrible that any human being would ever say that, that you can do nothing about macular degeneration. The macula is the center of the eye. It degenerates. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, subject to a lot of energy from the sun, so it's going to degenerate rapidly, but it's a sign that the whole body is degenerating. So here's what you do for macular degeneration. I hope Ann's listening. Can we get Ann back up again, Trev? Ann? I'm here. Hi, Ann. This is the answer for macular degeneration. First of all, regard it as overall, a sign of overall degeneration in the body. Secondly, oh, you want to... I lost my hearing a couple of years ago, so I'm wondering about the brain connection. It's all related. It's all related, Ann, that your body is breaking down. So number one, work on the digestive system. If you have any kind of food allergies, gluten intolerance, uh, food intolerances in general, problem foods, stop eating those foods. You have zero, you don't have a lot of time. If you're in your 60s, you've got to stop right away. Use the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Z-Radical or the Fucoid Z to patch up the gut. Then start working on, specifically on the eyes. You know, there's so many things here. Vitamin C, zinc, uh, chromium and vanadium, more protein. There's a million things, Ann. I'll tell you what, I'm going to address macular degeneration at the beginning of the program tomorrow because it seems like so many folks have this issue, and it is related to lipofusion, too. So listen in tomorrow morning, Ann. We'll, we'll address your question. Anybody who's got macular degeneration, we'll talk about it tomorrow morning. On the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.